that we can do to help recentrate our arm and our thorax after throwing. Um, and if we make sure that we do this after every game, we'll have, you know, we'll have combated the repetitive stress of throwing and the rotation to one direction. So um, what we're going to do today is something called reverse throws. One thing I want to make sure that you guys know is that this is not a substitute for your rotator cuff work, for your contralateral core work, um, for your breathing work. This is just a supplementation to help, you know, reposition your arm after throwing. So this is called reverse throwing. So what we're going to try to do with reverse throwing is we're trying we're going to try to do exactly the title of the exercise is reverse our throwing. So that way we work on the external rotation part of our of our you know of our arm width. So one, this is going to help us fire scat and put the ball back and put our ribs back and put everything back into our loading position. And especially after you know some positions will throw you know 100 plus throws a game pitching and catching, and it's important that we you know we take care of this arm and put it back where it should be. Otherwise, after you know six, eight months of playing baseball, we're gonna be all twisted up. So I, I look at uh, this reverse throwing thing as a progression. I like to start off with just a very simple, you know, just standard baseball and no complicated movements, keep the, keep the, the glove on your chest. Uh, so the first one, it's just gonna look like this. I'm, I'm just gonna bring the ball back into place and flick back. So the way I look at it is I want to do um, maybe slightly less of this after throwing, or you can do keep keep track of your throws, keep track of your pitch count as you should be, and you know do just as many as you do throwing in the game. Um, that way you know, you're retraining your arm to get back into place. So that's that's one progression. Um, another, uh, the next progression we would look at is getting the arms involved. So just like what we throw here, now we're starting to get the thorax involved. And after that happens, now we can move up to a weighted ball. So a weighted ball, now we go back to go back to progression one, where it's just a release back. And then we can take it to progression two, where it's a reach, fire back. So the reason we should use this tip is to help keep your arm healthy so you can make it through the entire season. Um, that's it for the day, everyone. See you, see you next time.